Hello, this is Vern, and on today's episode, I'm going to share with you how to attract lasting, sustainable, passionate, meaningful love into your life. Hello, this is Vern, and welcome to your greatlifetv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, successful, heart-centered women like you how to create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of quality man you want, no need for gimmicks, manipulations, crazy techniques, simply as a result of being the most alive, feminine, high-value version of you. Now, video number one in this five-part series was all about removing obstacles that prevent you from attracting love into your life. This one is how to attract that human being, how to call in that human being into your life and do it in a place where you are becoming more of you instead of turning into someone you're not. Step number one is simple, but it's so powerful and so meaningful and I don't suggest that you start this process without doing it, which is reconnect to your own source of light. That means be like the sunshine, not the moon. The moon needs a reflection of the sun to shine in the sky. The sunshine is self-ignited. So that means that when you were a little girl and you were growing up and you, were, you felt inside you were a princess or a ballerina, and you were dancing and you were shining this sunshine from your heart to the outside world and for whatever reason life got in the way and pain got in the way and people maybe did or said things to you that were hurtful and you started closing your heart well you start losing some of that innocence and some of that shiny power that emanates from your emotional and spiritual heart and what this is about is doing what you have to do so that you can open up your heart again and you can reconnect to that sense of possibility, that sense of inspiration, that sense of aliveness. Because when you radiate that aliveness from within, when you radiate that passion and that excitement and that hope and that light, that's, that's, that's the best way I have to describe it. When you radiate that light, then you become the strongest kind of magnet for everything that you want in your life, including the right man. Now, you don't just attract good men, you attract lots of men. You have to be, that's why part of this training is how to choose, that's video number, I think, three or four. Choose how to choose the right guy. But you need to be able to choose wisely because you'll attract more guys, but you'll have the option instead of saying, nobody's attracted to me. Now, how do you reconnect your source of light? I'm gonna give you a few simple ways to do it. Number one is movement. Why? Because you have habitual part of, patterns of movement that create feeling of expressiveness when you move more fluidly, when you move with more flow, then that part of you, your chest opens and you can shine more to the outside world. Breathing, conscious breathing. L just gauge yourself throughout the day and see how deeply you're breathing and learn to breathe more powerfully. Dancing, why dancing? Because dancing is going to just light you up. If, if you are someone who enjoys music and dance, if you're in your feminine, that's going to be something so powerful for you to reconnect to something so innocent and so pure without having to force yourself to it. Play some music, start dancing, do it as a daily practice. Move more powerfully, more consistently, move, move in, in, in a way that's conscious. Discipline yourself to do it so that when you don't do it, by nature you are more relaxed, by nature you're more expressive, you're more open. You're basically right now taking a committed process to flushing out the pain. The pain that was created through warping yourself and constricting and closing your heart through a lifetime of missed opportunities, uh, betrayals, pain, uh, deception, all those things are making you feel constricted and your heart stops being powerful. Well, it's about reopening it again. So that's step number one. Without this one, it's going to be an uphill battle to attract the kind of man that you want. Why? Because the more open you are, the more possibilities you'll find. Number two, find a consistent source of inspiration or consistent sources of inspiration that again, train your heart that it's okay to open. Why? Because if you're going around with a semi-closed heart or with a shut down heart as a result of pain and the experiences I just described, then the way to open it up again is to fill it up with something that makes it feel alive again. So find sources of inspiration, whether it's poetry, there's different books that will inspire you, inspirational stories, inspirational videos, inspirational movies, quotes, uh, 
incantations, uh, affirmations, anything that you feel, prayer even, anything that you feel reopens your heart. <sighs> Moments and doses of connecting to gratitude. High vibrational experiences, not intellectual experiences, but emotional experiences. Tell your heart, train your heart to open again. And I'm not talking about the muscle of your heart that's pumping blood. I'm talking about the spiritual heart inside that makes a connection with a human being, that touches them in a specific way, that makes them know that you are someone special and you are someone worthy of pursuit. Number three, define what's essential in what you want. The find what's essential in what you want is like the, the find not a 25, 27, 50 page list of attributes in a man. What are the five, six, ten tops, highest virtues, qualities that you want to find in a man? Make sure that you're clear on them. That's only part three because part four, without part four, part three is a waste of your time. Part four is the find based on the kind of man that you want, based on the kind of partner that you're seeking, based on the kind of relationship that you want to commit to, who do you have to be? What are the values and virtues? What is the expression that you need to step into to be a strong, resonant match that man that you so vividly described on a piece of paper? Well, sometimes you have that down. You know what kind of man you want, but it's a mismatch in terms of how courageously you're showing up, how much self-love you have, how much inspiration you feel, how clear you are in expressing your boundaries, how, I mean, there's all these different things that you need to be able to step into and work towards so that the person that you're seeking and the person that you are, are a very high frequency resonant match. Number five, step number five in this seven step process is you need to focus on practical, actionable, and by actionable, I mean, put them in your calendar, things that can help you to close the gap between that woman that you hope to be and the woman that you are today. Where do you need to close the gap? Do you need to work on being more expressive? Working on that. Do you need to work on connecting to your sensuality? Work on that. Do you need to work on expressing your true voice? Express your true voice more powerfully. Do you need to work on being more less, I guess, reactive when you express your true voice. Maybe that's another different type of problem that you might have. So focusing on how to close that gap daily, consistently, in a disciplined way, is going to be part of what gets you closer to attracting that kind of human being that you want. Number six, define in advance the highest boundaries that you want to hold to feel safe in exploring a potential relationship. So what does that mean? That means that you need to know not when it's happening, but before it's happening, if you allow for a guy that you don't know to come pick you up in your house, or if you feel that's a scary thing and you want to meet him several times in public places before you make that, take that risk, right? So it's defining that that would be one boundary. Another boundary would be when do you kiss the guy? When do you have sex with a guy? When do you become exclusive with someone? Uh, what are the respectful things you need to feel from him to move forward? If he asks you on a date, first date, is he paying for the dinner or you're paying for the like, you, if you If you take some time to in advance plan for what is it that you want and what makes you grow, that will make it so that when you're feeling a little stressed or anxious or you're feeling worried or you feel strong chemistry, that you have at least something to go back into that lets you know if you're moving far off from your ideal, from your values, uh, and, and maybe you need to step back a little bit and reevaluate. Number seven, yes, once you've done all those things, then, then it makes a lot of sense to create more consistent, more frequent, and more conscious connections with men, which means smile more often, ask more questions, go to more places where guys congregate, uh, initiate conversations if you need to, uh, flirt from a distance, like all the things that most people do when they say, well, you want to connect with a guy, well, create connections. Creating connections without doing the things I'm outlining right now in some version means that if what you were doing before is not getting what you want, now you're going to get less of what you want, right? Because you're wasting opportunities because the version of you that's closed, that is, has a lack of boundaries, that has a lack of self-love is now connecting with more men. So how, how good can that be? It can be good, right? So if you take the time first to create what you want and then you put yourself out there more frequently, 
That's a magical combination. Now, am I saying that you need to do that to catch a boyfriend? No. All you need to do to catch a boyfriend is put on a tight skirt, go to a bar, and you'll have three boyfriends that night. However, if you're talking about how do I create a meaningful, lasting, passionate, best friendship with someone, the skills and the, uh, and the things you need to do to create that type of relationship are different than if you, need, if you wanted to create something more basic or more loose. Does that make sense? So hope that when I'm outlining the steps, you're not saying, well, it's too much work. It's not too much work relative to what you get. It's only too much work if what you were going for is something meaningless. So hope this is helpful, insightful, and useful to you in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the little bell, that way you'll be notified of new episodes as they come out, including the next parts of this series. Last thing, and most important of all, if you want to go deeper on this concept, I have created a free masterclass. It's 40 minutes long that takes you into more depth, into the principles that I'm outlining right now. All you have to do is click on the first link in the description of this video. It will take you to a page where you can enter your name and email, and then you'll be immediately redirected to that masterclass. If you want my help, hand-holding, accountability, strategy, all those things, because you don't want to waste extra time, then I, uh, there's a second link in the description of this video that will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.